One of those things. It was just one of those nights. That's right. Just one of those fabulous flights. Okay, let's go. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show with Mr. Robert Conrad. Listen, guys, if you missed any portion of the show, fear not. You can go to crntalk.com. Click on the left-hand side where it says the PM Show with Robert Conrad and listen to archives of all your favorite shows, including this one, where we had Tippy Hedron on on the uh, second hour. So be all sure right, to check it out. Let's go. We got two guys left before we're out yeah. of here. Go ahead. What's up? Paul! Oh, well, Mr. Conrad, I'm going to let you go. Yeah, more people to talk to. You. Just have a wonderful weekend, and I, I so much enjoy talking to you. Okay, call earlier next week, you turkey, all I right? I certainly will. You take care of yourself, all right? All right, you take care of yourself. Thanks, Paulie. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you, Mr. Conrad. All right. Uh, all right. Hey, so uh, Eugene is in uh, Pitts, Pittsburgh? Yeah. All right. Eugene. Oh, uh, I'm very honored to talk to you, Mr. Conrad. Hey, thanks. You? Hello. Yeah, yeah I we said got you, buddy. You, uh, you supplied many hours of, uh, inter- I can't say entertainment because it's very light. I was injured over in Vietnam as a fighter pilot. I was a quadriplegic, and you know what it is to suffer through pain. And they told me I'd never walk again, and in seven months I left Walter Reed Hospital on crutches. Oh, wow, buddy. That's and amazing. I agree with your, your guest, Dippy, that I don't think anybody should have wild animals because that's what they are. They're wild animals, and people don't know how to take care of them. Yeah, well, yeah. And uh, I, I can't express to you how honored I am to talk to you. You're a fantastic person. Oh, a wow. A fantastic American, and God bless you. Hey, God bless oh, you. Man. Thanks for those compliments, and thanks for your phone call. And call in next week. Let's make this a regular thing. I will do that, Mr. Conrad. Don't forget. Now call in earlier, though, will you? Yeah, I will. I, uh, I didn't, I'm in Pittsburgh. I didn't know what the time zone was out there. Okay, but give us a call, and we'll chat, and you can ask questions and just become a raider because the show is, uh, is about you. It's about us. It's about this group of people that we've uh, gotten together, and, uh, you know, there's over a million of us. <laughs> so let's do this, okay? If I had the power, I could t- I'd like to take you back a minute before that accident. Uh, uh, to say for one man to another, I love you. That's the truth. I really do. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for so much uh, uh, pain that you worked me through. Oh, God bless you for saying that. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for the phone call. Good night, Mr. Conrad. Good night. All right. right. First time caller, Eugene. Thank you, man. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah. All right. Now what do we got? Who do we we have This is it. This is our closing bit. We get to say goodbye. Oh, terrific. We get to say goodbye to our audience. We've got some time today to say goodbye. Usually it's, you know, whoa, the the party's over. The lights have flickered and dimmed. Yeah. Now, how's the book coming? It isn't, but I promise you I will work on that damned book. Now I think the party is over. That's it. That's our sounding bell. All I can say and look right into that lens and say I love you. God bless you. It's been a wonderful couple hours. Tippy was terrific. You were my co-host was right on. And, of course, the beautiful assistant, Alita, well, she was okay, but she'll get better. She, uh, 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 yeah, and all right, so God bless you, and like I said, we're out of here.